I'm Rachel and I come to you from my home because you're in your home too and today we're going to be making some rafts that we can fly in our filled up sinks or plastic containers. So I have this smaller plastic container that I'm going to use as the main part of the raft because it floats. Um, you can use other things that you think might float. I think this ball might float because it's hollow and there's air inside so I think this will float and I don't know if this orange will but we're gonna try it out too um, so we're gonna need something that floats you're gonna need either two pencils about the same size or some craft sticks um, and you'll need some rubber bands and some pieces of felt or thicker cardboard or that sort of thing. Um, something that won't dissolve in water. Um, so I'm going to start with making the plastic container wrap, raft. Um, I'm going to get two pieces of felt about this big and then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut a slit from here to the middle so that they're looking like pants. Look at this little pair of pants. So I'm going to do that to these two pieces. See, I only cut halfway. Let's do this one as well. Only cutting halfway. Okay. Now I'm taking my plastic container and I'm going to take my pencils this time. And you're going to put a rubber band around the top here. So it could be a little musical instrument as well. Um, and then I'm going to take my pencils and I'm going to put it in the rubber band and down at the bottom of what's going to be the bottom of my raft. Now they don't really stay in place as you can kind of tell. They, they move around and they're wobbly so we need some more rubber bands. So. I'm going to take this rubber band and I'm going to put it on the front of the pencils to keep those more evenly spaced with each other. There we go. See how that kind of fixes it? Now the front pieces are together. Now we're going to do the same thing with the back. With another rubber band. Now this rubber band is very important. This is what's going to make our watercraft go. Because we have our felt pieces that each have the slits in the bottom. We're going to put the slits together so that they then become flush and they become this kind of X shape. And this will be your propeller. This is what is going to make your raft move. Now, we're going to wrap this around that back rubber band. Okay, we're going to open up the rubber band, insert this, and then start twisting. And when we're twisting this rubber band, we are creating potential energy. Now, with the potential energy, that means that it is under stress. Do you see how much stress this rubber band is under because it's twisted so much? That is going to create the power that we need. That's called potential energy. And then when I let go, that's kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is energy that is moving and that you can see. You can kind of see it because you could see this moving really fast because that potential energy built up and then the kinetic energy just it released and then the kinetic energy went so those are two different types of energy so this is my first raft now I want to try this orange as well you guys can think of anything else in your house that you think might float I'm not sure if this orange will float so it'll be a mystery so this time I'm taking some craft sticks and I'm going to have kind of the same idea as the other one. We're going to need three rubber bands. So I'm going to take a rubber band, 
and just sort of attach the craft sticks to the orange, like so. And then put a rubber band in the front. Not that I don't think we need it, because this the craft sticks seem to stay pretty well. And then the rubber band in the back. So it's the same as the other raft. And then with these two new ones, oh, it looks like they might be a little too big. So let's make some adjustments here and cut off the ends. Okay, this seems a little better. I can hear my dog walking around. <laughs> All right, now let's put this in here and create some potential energy. This one's a little harder to wrap because they're so wide apart. Okay, here's our potential energy starting to build up. You see the stress and the tension that the rubber bands are under as we're twisting them. Now let's release that kinetic energy. There we go, there's our kinetic energy. Now I'm gonna take you to my bathroom sink and we are going to try these out in the filled out sink and see if they float or go anywhere. We're gonna start our potential energy going. See the tension that the rubber bands are in? All right, I'm gonna put my raft here in the water. I want you guys to be it. This works. Okay, it looks like our orange doesn't really want to float, but let's see if it still works. It tried. Now, science is all about trying new things, and I tried something new. I tried to do an orange, and it didn't really work, but science is cool because you can try new things and discover the world and things around you. So, everyone have a good day.